My name's Ryan Trix. How old are you? I'm 28. My son is 28. Oh, amazing. And what do you do for a living? I actually work in a sewage treatment works. So don't flush wipes down the toilet because I have to clean it out over the pumps. <laughs> and why are you here tonight? Why? Well, I actually do magic. And I just thought this year is the year for AGT. It's the biggest platform. And to show my son that if you have a dream, you can go out, get it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do anything in life. You have a son already. Yes, I have one son who's six, and I have a daughter that's just turned one. I just want a good life for them, so yeah. Good. Okay, so we're very excited that you're here and we want to see your match. Amazing. You all ready? Yes. yes. Yeah. Amazing. So from watching this show, as I love America's Got Talent, I realized that you, Simon, and Howie are BFFs. We love each other. We do. I know, from watching the show, no, right? we actually do. But they say a friendship will only last if they have a subconscious connection. So I want to test out your subconscious connection up on stage right now, Simon and Howie, in front of America. So come on, come up. You up, bro? Come on. Lovely to meet you, Simon. Welcome. Lovely to meet you. You good? We've never done this before. No. It's like never. Being, it's like being Amazing. on a date. It is. I'm really nervous. Scream if you guys need help. We'll run and get you. Yeah. Thank you. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. So now, as you can see, I have two decks of cards here and a blindfold. So Simon, you're the boss. So choose the red deck or the blue deck. The blue deck. Perfect. So as you can see, we'll get rid of the box. These are all different, yes? Yeah. Perfect. Face down like this for you, Simon. Yeah. And now, how will you get the red deck? Okay. We don't need the box. Okay. As you can see, these are all different, yes? Yes. Incredible. Now I'm going to place these face down. Okay. Now the reason for this is because it's going to be your subconscious choice of choosing a card. So hold out your finger over the deck for me like this, both of you, and go left to right for me, left to right, over the deck. Do the same, left to right. And now I want you to look each other in the eyes for me. Whenever you want, place your finger down on one card in your own time. Perfect. And Howie, what one do you want? This one. Perfect. Okay. Now this is the thing. If you had a connection, then these two cards must match. So take the cards, don't look at them just yet. Take them, pick them up, don't look at them, hold them against your chest. On the count of three, you're gonna show the audience. One, two, three, show the audience. Have a look, have a look, have a look. A perfect match. There we go, right there, a miracle. Incredible. Amazing. But wait, see this way it's interesting because I want to take this a step further. So Howie, yes. here I have a blindfold. Please oh. could you put this on for me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Now Howie, I'm just going to touch the back of your hand. You don't mind, do you? Not the back. Can you feel this pressure here? I do feel that. Good. Howie, take a deep breath in and out. We're going to see whether you two are connected. Do you feel this pressure, Howie? Yes. Good. Take a deep breath in. Now, Howie, you're doing great. When you feel this pressure come off, raise your hand slowly to a height of a wine bottle. Only when you feel this pressure come off. Okay. Interesting. Howie, when you feel this pressure come back down, when you feel this pressure come back down, place your hand back down to the table. Okay. Amazing. But wait, but wait, that was me controlling your mind. We're going to see whether you're in sync. Simon, it's in your hands. Point like this. Simon, whenever you want, you're going to control Howie's hand. Just raise your hand slowly in your own time. So I'm controlling Howie. Whenever Howie's. you want. <laughs> this is incredible. Perfect. Thank you so much, Howie. You're doing great. Now I've got you two in sync. I want to try the last experiment to see whether you are actually subconsciously connected. Simon, as you can see, I have loads of things here, right? Yeah. Now, I want you to choose one of them. Any one you want, just choose one. Perfect. We're going to get rid of that now. Yeah. Hold it in your right hand like this for me. Now, Howie, turn your right hand palm towards the sky for me. Now, just in your imagination, you imagine holding something inside your hand. You focus on the texture, the color, the shape of this thing. Do you imagine something inside your hand now? Yes. What do you imagine holding? A uh, cookie. A cookie. Take off your blindfold and have a look what I've just handed Simon. A cookie. There we go. You guys have a subconscious connection. Look at that. How's that done? That was incredible.
Hello, oh, man. Max. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, can you tell where I am? I got a clue. <laughs> I'm at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas with this incredible view behind me of the strip. Now, judges, you first met Max when he performed his magic and mentalism on the online auditions we did. Since I can't be there with you physically, you know, on the stage, I'm gonna try to connect with you guys mentally. Are diamantes. Oh wow. my God. Wow. <laughs> I grew up in a really small town. From an early age, I kind of had the ability to read people, kind of sense what was going on in situations. To kind of entertain myself, I would always kind of put on little shows for my family and my neighbors, and started to get a little name around town. And when I was 14 years old, I got my big break. My neighbor hired me to perform for their daughter's sixth birthday. My dream my entire life has been to have my own show on the Las Vegas Strip. And so really, I spent the last 20 years kind of honing this skill set. I finally made the move to Vegas to pursue my dreams, but I had no opportunities to perform. Part of my identity is being a performer, and when, and when suddenly you can't do that thing that you identify so heavily with, you feel like you've lost a part of yourself. And so, uh, excuse me, <laughs> it was really tough. Um, now being asked by the judges to perform again, I feel an insane amount of pressure. This is what the last 20 years have been about. I gotta show them something they've never seen before so I can get one of those final spots in the live shows. The last time that I performed you guys, I performed for Sophia and Simon mentioned that he'd like to be involved next time. And so I thought tonight, Simon, I'd actually try and get inside of your head. Are you up for it? Yeah, could be a scary place. <laughs> but before we begin, I want to point out this envelope that's on the table here. This is going to become very important at the end of my act. But for now, I'm going to leave it over here where you guys can keep your eye on it the entire time, okay? Simon, on the table, what I want you to notice is that I have a number of photos of you and your fellow judges. Like you see them here? Yep. Howie there. I'm going to lay them out on the table so you can get a good look at all of them. Heidi, photo of yourself right there. Sophia. And of course, America's favorite host, Terry Crews. Yes. And then at the top of your screen, you guys will see we have a matching set of photographs that are currently face down. So the object tonight, Simon, is for you to feel a connection to your fellow judges through the photos, through the screen. Okay. Now, before we begin, I need to understand the way that you're wired and the way that you think. So I'm curious, Simon, what is a personality trait that you admire most in another person? Loyalty. In that case, I think we'll start with this one. Simon, I want you to tell me who you're feeling a connection to right now. Terry. Terry, you can see how this starts to shape up. Simon, what is something that you own that you wouldn't sell for any amount of money? The first picture of my son, Eric, being born lying on my chest. Oh. oh. Beautiful. I want to see that. Me too. Starting to understand how you're wired. I'm going to go with this one right here. Tell me, which judge are you feeling a connection to right now? Sophia. I like that you're taking the time to really feel these connections. Um, Simon, one last question. What is your most vivid memory from your childhood? Perhaps a story you've never told anyone. Getting my first Skeletrix car set. You call it slot racing here. Oh, In England, yeah. we yeah. call it Skeletrix. It's a car racing set. We'll go with this one right here and tell me now, who are you feeling a connection to? Howie. Howie. Uh, Slot cars were my favorite. Game on now. Where would you like this one to go, Heidi or yourself? Heidi. Heidi. We're going to place that right there. And then one final photo, of course. Me. They're right in front of you, yep. Yeah. Now, Simon, you have a very important decision to make. I'm going to count to five. When I get to five, you're going to tell me whether you want to leave everything as it is or whether you want to switch any two photographs. It's up to you. I'm going to count to five, and then you'll let me know. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm going to keep them where they are. You're going to trust your instincts and keep them where they are. I'm glad yep. you said that, because what you'll notice is that over here on the end, you actually matched Howie with Howie. <laughs> over here on the end, you matched Heidi with Heidi. No. Over here, you ah. matched Simon with Simon, no. Sophia with no. Sophia, oh. and Terry with Terry. Oh. That is five ah. for five, a perfect match. But look, 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 I told you guys I would raise the bar. Okay. And tonight, I wanted to go not just for improbable, but impossible. And I made my boldest prediction ever, and I placed it over here inside of this envelope. 
and I asked you to name a personality trait you love in a person, and your answer was loyalty. Oh. What? Now, if that wasn't crazy enough, we continued on. I asked you for a memory, something you said you would never forget, and you said it was a picture of your son, oh. Eric. Now, then I asked you for a memory, something from your childhood, something no one could know. And you told me it was getting your first car set. Oh. Jesus, that's a lot of pink. Can, can we get something a little bit less subtle, please? Thank you. S speaking, of, <laughs> speaking of subtle, I want to thank the art department for that impeccable image of myself. Hi, Heidi, how are you? Hello, Mr. Laudemar. We nice haven't met you. yet. This no, is so exciting. Met. Is there a sword that I have to pull out of your throat? Not yet. Oh. I have a deck of cards. Okay. It's going to be fine. No, listen, it's not a card trick. It's not really a trick at all. It's more of a stunt. So I'm going to spread the cards out just like this. Will you pull one of those cards towards yourself? Anyone? Just, yep, right there. Now, like I said, it's not a, uh, it's not a magic trick. So you can show the camera the card. I can see the card. It doesn't matter. Now? Yeah, 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 now. It's the Six of Diamonds. All right, so I want you to sign your name right across the Six of Diamonds. Just give me your autograph right there. Perfect. Now, this is really important. We're going to place the card about 16, 17, 18 cards into the pack. And you'll see why that's important in just a second. So just put that there. Perfect. You follow instructions so well. You know, speaking of following instructions. <laughs> oh, yeah, Hi, yeah. Sophia. <laughs> Will you please join me on stage? Yeah. Everyone, give her a round of applause <laughs> as Sophia joins me on stage. Yes, hurry up! Come on! Come on. Yes! Oh, no! <laughs> Not now, again! <laughs> you may remember okay. during my audition, Sophia assisted me on stage, Why and me it didn't again? go so well. No, well, let's face it, you screwed it up, but it's fine. It's okay, join me right over here. You screwed it up and it's okay because tonight is your chance for redemption. I, I didn't do anything wrong. Stand over there, stand on the X. <laughs> Sophia, <laughs> tonight this act is not about me. This act is all about you. Hey. Oh, oh, that's a nice speaker, thank you. It was five grand, I'm not kidding. I like uh, it. Sophia, Sophia, in a minute, you are going to be shooting that crossbow directly at my face. No, come on, in come an on. No, stand, stand there, go back, go back, go back. In an attempt, Why can't Sophia, he do it? to find Heidi's card. You will shoot the arrow to find Heidi's card. Sophia, join me by the crossbow. Why can't Heidi? Why can I have a stand in the meantime? Because she didn't can screw I... me over last time, that's why. Listen. No. Sophia, this is... So important, you have to, eye contact, please. Okay. I'm gonna be standing over there on that X. Mm -hmm. This crossbow is equipped with a laser sight. Mm -hmm. You will raise the crossbow, aiming at the cards held in my mouth. And on my signal, and only on my signal, you will firmly pull that trigger, shooting an arrow across the stage into this pack of cards. Do you understand? Why me? You don't wanna do this? But I have, what if, okay, what if something I do wrong? I die. <laughs> I this have is... another question. Where can I stand when this is happening? I have four minutes. We don't have time for your questions. All right. Okay. Here we go. But what are you, what is your signal? How am I going to know I'm you gonna want me to I'm going to yell fire. Do? Okay. And you'll, yeah. All right. Here we go. Right, like right we, now? No, not right now. When you aim. Okay. All right. I, <laughs> listen, I believe in you as long as you just focus and okay. do what I'm asking you okay. to do, everything's going to be okay. Okay. I can do it. I hope you can do it. <laughs> Sophia, raise the crossbow. Any day now. Oh, no. Not there. No? No. Okay. <laughs> A little higher. No, wait, no, it's wrong? No, 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 you're fine. Just... Okay. Said at the oh, day. my God. But wait, th this is what I'm pushing here. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yes, Daddy. the trigger. Are you yes, sure? but not yet. Here we go. All right. Aim at I the know, deck. I know. I'm not gonna not... look. Do I have to look? Mm. Yes, you have to look. You have to look at the red dot. Here we go. No, wait, wait. No, this is moving. Oh. Okay. Oh my God. I know. I beg you. I beg fire! you. Sophia. He said um, fire. Oh my gosh. No. Uh. Fire! Uh. Ah! <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. <coughs> I, 
Show. Red, six feet. This, no, you don't no have to way. touch it, COVID, I get it. There's Listen, no this doesn't mean anything unless that's your signed card. Is it? It is my signed card. Yeah, thank you all for having me back. This is Rockstar. As you can see, I got all 52 cards separated into pieces across the table, just like all of us that are separated in our homes right now. So here's the deal. Judges, I can't come close to you. You can't come close to me. Problem solved. Here's what we got. I got decks of cards in front of each one of you. So do me a favor, grab the cards, okay. take them out of the boxes. All right. Howie, Sophia, just hold on to your cards. We'll get to you guys in a second. And Heidi, go ahead and take them out and look at them. Make sure they're all different. And then if you would, turn them to show the camera, to show everybody at home that they're different. Perfect. And here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna hold them in your hand like you're dealing a game of cards. And I want you to take the middle finger and thumb like little pinchers and just lift up a section off the top. There you go and then rotate it. What do you got, show me. Uh, two of hearts, perfect. When I was a kid, I loved the idea of tearing things up and putting them back together magically. But I never liked the idea of tearing something up and putting it back together the same way. Because that's not life, that's not how it goes. I know this, that when I've been torn down or I've been part of a new experience, I try and never come out of it the same. I try and come back better and stronger and stealing greatness from everyone around me. So uh, Heidi, you picked the two of hearts, here it is. Here's a piece of the two of hearts. As you can see, I pre-cut them. But look, I had to save time, we're live on TV, is what it is, here we go. So I got a piece of the two of hearts. All right, Howie, Yeah. do me a favor, look at your cards. Okay, look Show in. the camera that they're different. They're all different. And you're gonna do the same thing. Put them in your hand like you're gonna deal. Like I'm gonna yeah. deal. Take right. the pincher, Yeah. lift off a piece off the top and show the camera what it is. And show the camera, uh, a jack of clubs, perfect. All I need is a piece of the jack of clubs right here. This two is gonna represent me and this jack of club Every time I hit this stage at AGT, I leave better because the crew here is unreal. They work so hard and with so much passion. So here's what I'm gonna take away from them today. Work ethic and passion. And those people have forever changed me. And there I am, ready to go. Wow. Changed forever. Now, Sophia, <laughs> take your cards, show the camera that they're all different. And then put them in your hand like you're gonna deal a game of cards. And then take your fingers, pinch, and just lift off a section the off the way, top. The other way, the other way. Face down, there you go. <laughs> tell, just... tell him to stop giving me instructions. <laughs> yeah. Lift the section dream. off the top. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is that, a six of diamonds? Six Perfect. of diamonds. Six of diamonds. I think your six of diamonds is gonna look great right there. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, the six of diamonds, I just need a piece of the six of diamonds. This here is gonna represent the judges. You guys bring us all together. You remind us that spending time with family and friends is so valuable because we never get that time back. So I'm gonna take from you guys, spend time with my wife and kid and cherish every moment. And you guys have touched my soul forever and it's never gonna be the same. And there we are, three pieces back together. Now, we're missing a corner. My man, I didn't forget about you. My man, Terry, come on out here. All right. Now we're missing a corner right here. We're gonna mix this up. I just want you to think of any card you want to. Take a second and just think of any card. You got it? Mm -hmm. Name the card you're thinking of, what is it? Eight of spades. Eight of spades. Okay, here we go. Eight of spades. Now this is what everybody's expecting, to put the eight right there. But that's normal, that's boring. This piece goes out to all the fans that make this show possible. You guys have changed my life forever. You've inspired me to be me, to be different, and to rock this world. So may we all come together and be different and make this world a little bit better place than when we started. And that right there is how we will forever change each other, always and forever. Whoa. Now, this card is better. This card is stronger than when it came here. And now, Terry, this card is disinfected. Take that. Okay. Make sure there's no tears, no holes, no glue, no <laughs> magnets. That card is, in fact, in one. Thank you for having me back. My name's John Dornboss. It's amazing. great to be alive, baby. Thank you. John Dornboss. All right, if you'd like to subscribe and see more, click below. Now.